What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Vincent Esposito and today we're going to be talking about the liver, leaky gut, and how they're connected. But before we get to that, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel below. Coming out with videos every week, nutrition, health, wellness, longevity, plant-based recipes, gut health. If you're interested in any of that, you can find it here. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now I've done a video on phase one and phase two detoxification before. I will link that above, but I think it's really good to kind of go over it here. Now, before we dive a little bit in, it's really important to know that detoxification, both phases are very nutrient intensive and they require a lot of different antioxidants, B vitamins, minerals, and other substances that we simply need, which are also often also needed to maintain and optimize gut health. So let's start with phase one. So phase one is usually dictated by a bunch of enzymes that are collectively known as the cytochrome P450 enzymes. And these are the ones that are responsible for detoxifying said toxins or pathogens in the initial stage. So in phase one, the cytochrome P450 enzymes can end up with one of two different scenarios. The first is these compounds are turned from fat soluble compounds into water soluble compounds. And then these are excreted either the stool, bile or urine. The other scenario is that these are turned into intermediate compounds, which are then worked on in phase two detoxification to then turn them into uh, water soluble compounds. Now, some of the major nutrients you need for phase one detoxification include a variety of B vitamins, antioxidant vitamins, so we're talking about vitamin C particularly, as well as A and C, magnesium, iron, and a bunch of others, but just to name a few, those are kind of the main ones. Now, if phase one reactions cannot be carried out, it can lead to these toxins to continue to float around throughout the, the system, throughout your body, and it leads to more free radicals in the system, which can cause DNA damage, which further puts strain on the liver and again, you're gonna be shuttling more of these nutrients to the liver to deal with the problem. And if you can imagine, this can lead to more serious issues down the road because you're just having this buildup of toxic substances that the liver simply cannot deal with because it does not have the nutrients to do so. And again, leaky gut becomes an issue with this because those same substances are really needed for the repair of the gut lining, but the more immediate issue is in the liver. So whatever is available is getting shuttled to the liver and not the gut lining. And you could see how this can kind of quickly spiral out of control. And again, this is gonna be where you're getting your food sensitivities, potential autoimmune reactions, whether it's skin problems, joint pains, and a variety of other issues. Then we get to phase two. So the second part of this liver detoxification pathway. Now there are six pathways here. They're known as acetylation, amino acid conjugation, glucuronidation, glutathione conjugation, methylation and sulfation. Again, these are a lot of kind of words and terms that you don't necessarily need to know, but you need to know that again, they are very nutrient intensive and can really put a strain on gut health when these nutrients are kind of shuttled to the liver. So here you need a variety of different nutrients as well. We're talking about things like vitamin B12, sulfur, which is found predominantly in garlic and onions, which is probably why you see it in a lot of my videos and a bunch of different amino acids, things like glutamine, glycine, taurine, arginine, cysteine, and methionine. And again, these are only a few of the compounds needed, but these play a predominant role in phase two detoxification. But also, again, these are things that, can, that are needed to heal the gut, but when we're dealing with these free radicals and toxins that need to be recycled and then excreted, we need to deal with that first and that takes priority in the body. Now, if these toxins end up going through conjugation successfully, through phase one and two successfully, we still have to deal with the scenario where they have to get eliminated. And this is where leaky gut becomes an even bigger problem. So again, if you have these large holes in your, in your gut that toxins and substances can get into, even these conjugated substances can then be reabsorbed and then have to be toxi uh, detoxified again. So you can see again how this cycle kind of feeds on itself. And if this is happening, we need to again find the root cause of the issue and deal with that first before we get to fixing everything going on here. So again, this could be a variety of things from SIBO to poor stomach acid, pancreatic, 
enzyme and bile production. It could be due to a pathogenic bacteria overgrowth or a parasite infection, or it could be something like SIBO or IBS. But we need to address these, the root causes, before the liver is able to keep up and then we get to healing leaky gut. And then obviously once we get rid of the root cause, we wanna load up on many of the nutrients that I mentioned before and we'll go through the repairing process. And after this process, we also wanna make sure we are optimizing hydrochloric acid production in the stomach, pancreatic enzyme function, and bile production. Because again, we don't wanna come back and revisit this same issue down the road. So optimizing the release of those is gonna play a key role in to fixing the problem long-term. But I hope you found today's video interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe below. Again, coming out videos every week, nutrition, health, wellness, longevity, lifestyle, gut health, plant-based recipes. You can find that all here. And until next time, take care.